apart from attempting to explain or expound the whole issue, I would like to reiterate and re-emphasise that 2 plus 2 does not always add up to 4 in soothsaying, and the predictions going as usual by the book of norms or thumb rules will not tally or click in many cases because of the intervention of the X plus factor, which, putting it simply, is the interference or intervention of what we call parapta or purbakritya or one's past karma fall. In other words, past good deeds or misdeeds. This karma yoga belief or philosophy of the Hindus is irrefutable, inexorable, inevitable, although maybe unacceptable, untenable, or incomprehensible to other beliefs and religions and faiths. The Hindus believe and know that life and its consequences and aftermaths do not start nor end with this one birth or generation, that the carryover continues until the soul or Atma redeems itself fully and finally through sublimation and is ready for merger with the cosmic consciousness, Brahma, the Supreme Divine. This is the reason why astro predictions and readings in many cases do not come out correct, not because of the incompetence or inability or ineptitude of the astrologer or soothsayer, Jayotish, nor due to the failings of the occult science or art, but the overriding influence of karma fall, parapta, past, carryovers or inherited legacy. Arising from the severe limitations of horoscope study, as outlined above, my modus operandi for browsing and predicting is to launch a multi-pronged probe into the mysterious unknown, using as many techniques and tools as I can summon and muster to complement each other and help fill the voids or lacunae in any single mode or approach. One such clinical technique is the scrutiny or tallying of the antecedents, attributes and associates of the individual under study, the native in astrological glossary. This is best performed face to face and via tete a tete through a question and answer session, which takes time, proximity, patience and perseverance. The next step in this approach is to view the native via or through the horoscope of a close relation, such as a parent, brother, sister, husband or children, with whom there is known to be some closeness, affinity, akinness. After positioning the native in an appropriate place or house in the horoscope chart of the understudy, depending on the nature or type of the relationship. Such study or scrutiny calls for proximity, series of questions and answers, and availability of time, amenable mood, conducive circumstances, and propitious occult timing. With all such inputs, tallies and cross-checks, collaterals and collaborations, one can hope to have reasonably reliable glimpses of the past and present, as also of the future, and only thereafter venture to attempt unveiling of what has been or foreseeing of what may be. The task becomes easier if the horoscope being studied is a typical or representative specimen and if the native's life events happen to run true to tradition, or as per the book of rules or norms, or if the astrologer happens to be gifted, like Nostradamus, one who saw, sees tomorrow.
getting down to brass tacks and the nitty-gritty of a practical assignment, what must always be borne in mind are the limitations, the shortcomings that are prevailing, particularly when physical presence of the native and the proximity aura is lacking. Availing of a question-and-answer probe is not possible, and the facility or means to corroborate or collate and compare and tally with other relevant or related horoscopes is absent. To make the best of such a situation and get some sense of direction and bearing, attempt first and foremost to assess, however cursorily and scantily, whether the horoscope does seem to come within the purview of what can be considered as representative, typical or indicative, based on the known gamut or orbit of the base norms and rules. Then, start off the question and answer probe by seeking answers, information, on some leading queries, to assess whether you have been able to get your teeth into it. Assuming that you have, to an extent, and that the native, client, does want you to plod and probe further, it will be best if he or she can spare the time, energy and money to engage in a long, elaborate, extended session of questions and answers. With data so gathered, venture forth with some or preliminary exploratory readings. What thereafter? Well, that remains to be seen.